Hey everyone, it's Jenny, and welcome back to my channel, The Story Ain't Over. So today I'm bringing you a triple unboxing because I'm a little behind on my unboxings. So I have two owl crate boxes for you today and one fairy loot one. I'll leave the timestamps below for you guys so that you can just skip to the one that you're interested in. But yeah, as usual, I'll just be unboxing, letting you know my thoughts, and freaking out over the beautiful special editions because I love them. Okay, so let's start with the first Owl Crate box. I'm not actually sure if this one is the one that comes, you know, before or after, but regardless, we're gonna find out. Okay, so this is the August box, and I'm already excited because the theme is Dark Academia, which, y'all, you know I'm excited for this, okay? Super excited. The Dark Academia content is all that keeps me going in September, so here we go. The first thing in here is this little enamel pin and it is a typewriter and it has some Latin words on it. I don't know what they mean though, even though I took Latin for like four years in high school, but whatever. Oh my God, oh, this is so cute. So this is a little stamp and it says from the library of and like you can use it to stamp your books which is so freaking cute. Okay, the next thing in here is this Allingham Academy brew, which is inspired by the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. I absolutely love that series. It is fantastic and also a good dark academia. But this is chamomile, rooibos tea, rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, natural strawberry flavor, natural vanilla flavor, strawberries, and raspberry leaves. It is gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, and caffeine-free, and it is by Riddle's Tea Shop. And this is actually the exact type of tea that I love to drink, so I'm super excited for this. All right, the next thing in here is this box, and it says it's better to know one book intimately than a hundred superficially. And I think there's some sort of jewelry inside? I'm not sure. Let's find out. <gasps> oh my god! This is so beautiful! What the hell? Okay, so I think it's a bookmark based on the tassel. But holy, so it's like, I think it's like the figure of like a person. I don't know if you can see this, but like, I think it's like, um, kind of like those statues, like those Roman and Greek statues. That's what it looks like. And it's got like the crescent moon with the same quote. So it is better to know one book intimately than a hundred superficially. And it's so pretty. I feel like I'm gonna break this by accident, but it's gorgeous. I actually don't know what this quote is from, so I'm gonna check the spoiler card. Okay, so the metal bookmark was actually inspired by The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is like the classic of Dark Academia. All right, the next thing in here looks like a little like notebook thing. So on the front it says Per Aspera Ad Astra, which I think is from... What is that from? Oh, uh, okay, so this is inspired by If We Were Villains by ML Rio, which is one of my favorite Dark Academia books. And on the back it says, we were always surrounded by books and words and poetry, all the fierce passions of the world bound in leather and vellum, which is such a great quote. And let's open this up. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's like a notebook encased in like this leather thing. Oh my god, it's got like a little pen over here. That is so cute. Okay, so it's got these little like sticky notes on the inside, which is super, super cute. And then it's got like the pen as well, which says per aspera ad astra. I forget what that means, but I think they also say it in like Red Rising as well, which is what I'm thinking of whenever I think of that. All right, the next thing in here I'm super excited for because it looks like a book sleeve and it's super, super cute. So it's got five different characters on here and I actually don't know what this is inspired by, so we're gonna find out. Okay, I had a feeling this is inspired by the Raven Boys, which is not my favorite series, but whatever. Very cute regardless. And then on the back it says Aglion B Academy. I can never say the name of the Academy. Ag Ag Aglion B? Ag Aglion B? I can't say it, but whatever. Here we are. It's very cute and it is a book sleeve and I actually really like the texture of this one. It's very pretty. I think I would like it more if I was actually into the series, but regardless, it's very cute. Ooh, okay, so the next thing in here is the next installment in the like Darker Shades of Magic book tin things that they've been making. So the first one was like Red London and the second one was Gray London and now this one is White London. And if I can pull this out, I can show you. Okay, oh my God, this is so, pretty so on it it says the someday king and then on the back it says on the oh i don't know what that means but that is super super cool and then on the inside it says and then at last the world breathed which is super super cool the darker shade of magic series is definitely super cool so i love these little tins and you can put like anything in them and then they just look like a book on your shelves. Okay, and finally we are on to the book of the month and that is 
A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. So to be honest, I actually don't know anything about this one. I have heard this like title around a lot and I've seen the cover, but I think this is like an exclusive cover, it looks like, because I think the one I remember is like darker, but it is also signed by the author and it's got an author letter on the back as well. But I'm gonna open this up and see if I can find out more. Oh my God, it's got silver sprayed edges. Can you see that? That's so pretty. Okay, so this is how it looks without the plastic on it and it's very, very pretty. And then it's got the silver sprayed edges and then it's black on the inside and oh my God. Okay, so this is the inside, which is super cool, and it's got the Latin phrase on it again, and then that's the spine, and then, oh my god, this is so gorgeous. So, this is the inside of the dust jacket, and oh my god, it could be its own dust jacket, like they've set it up so that you could fold it over. But on this side, it says, I want to find a loose thread on the collar of her shirt and tug. I want to unravel her. Is this book sad? Has no one told me that this is sapphic? I'm very excited now. And then on this side, it says magic can pull you in, pull you under. Every spell is a pomegranate seed on your tongue, binding you to the underworld. Ooh. And then it looks like it's got character illustrations of two of the characters, which is very, very exciting. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And to be honest, while I love this, I think I'm going to actually flip the cover so that the inside of the cover is on the outside because it looks gorgeous. But oh my god, I love this. And then on the back here, it has some quotes from some authors. So it says, A smart, layered, thought-provoking thriller about female desire and the intimacy of violence. A lesson in vengeance is at once dark and mesmerizing with spine-tingling suspense and mind-bending twists. Okay, I'm just going to look at the description because I know nothing about this. So Felicity Morrow is back at the Dalloway School, perched in the Catskill Mountains. The centuries-old ivy-covered campus was home until the tragic death of her girlfriend. Now after a year away, she's returned to finish high school. She even has her old room in Godwin House, the exclusive dormitory rumored to be haunted by spirits of five Dalloway students. Girls, some say, were witches. The Dalloway Five all died mysteriously, one after another, right on the Godwin grounds. Witchcraft is woven into Dalloway's past. The school doesn't talk about it, but the students do. In secret rooms and shadowy corners, girls convene, and before her girlfriend died, Felicity was drawn to the dark. She's determined to leave that behind now, but it's hard when Dalloway's occult history is everywhere and when the new girl won't let her forget. It is Alice Haley's first year at Dalloway and she has already amassed a loyal following. A prodigy novelist at 17, Alice is a so-called method writer. She's eccentric and brilliant and Felicity can't shake the pull she feels to her. So when Alice asks Felicity to help her research Dalloway 5 for her second book, Felicity can't say no. Given her history with the arcane, Felicity is a perfect resource. And when history begins to repeat itself, Felicity will have to face the darkness in Dalloway and in herself. Oh my god, that sounds so freaking cool. I'm super excited for this and I just cannot wait to dive into it. So now let's move on to the next one, which I believe is the July box now that I think about it, but let's take a look. Okay, so I was right. This is the July box and it is potions and poisons. Just looking at the stuff in this box looks super cool. So I'm very excited because it looks like a whole like potion shop in here. But the first thing in here is this Owl Crate Apothecary box which is super cute. And it says the Bibliophile Brew, which has me very interested. So let's open her up. So it's got a cork top and... Ooh, oh my God, this is so cool looking. Okay, so it says, Cures Reader's Block Bibliophile Brew. Take one when experiencing literary indecisiveness. What does that mean? Suffering from a bout of reader's block, our TBR jar is just the cure you need. Write the titles of unread books from your TBR list on small slips of paper and toss in the jar. Whenever you're unsure about which book to pick off your shelves next, draw a random title to let fate decide your next read. That is so funny and so cute. Say, so just write like the titles of books that you need to read and then stick them in the jar. And it's just such a cute little jar. I love it. All right, the next thing in here is this bubble elixir. So it's like a bubble bath uh, serum and it's water mint and a clementine. And they've called it the vial of dreams, which is super, super cute. Okay, the next thing in here is this little thing and it looks like it's a like hand sanitizer holder, which is super, super cute. And you can like un do the package and take out the bottle so you can fill this up as well. Okay, the next thing in here is this like little thingy. I don't know what it is, but this is what it looks like and this is what it says on it. 
So it's a Fenbeer's Fatal Frozen Delicacies. And I think it might be a little thing to like freeze stuff, like make a freezy. Yeah, it's a popsicle holder. That's what it says on the inside. So you can brew up your own unique popsicle flavors and store them in this handy holder. Simply fill with liquid and place in your freezer and enjoy. That is super cute. Okay, the next thing in here is this enamel bookmark. And so it's got two sides and I think it's inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So it's called Eat Me, sorry, Eat Me and Drink Me, I think. All right, next we have the pin of the month, which looks like a little potion with a heart in it. And then it's got these um, like keys on the side as well. Ooh, okay. This next thing in here, I think it's a pillowcase. That's what it feels like, but let's find out. Ooh, okay. Oh, maybe it's a tote? <gasps> no, it's like a little um, like print that you can put on the wall. <gasps> oh my God, this is so cool. So it's like a little guide to like different plants and it's just super, super pretty. So the book in the box is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. And I believe this is the same author who wrote Cinderella is Dead, which I've heard a lot of people talk about, but this is like an exclusive cover and it's signed by the author and it's also got a letter from the author as well. But let's open this up to see it more closely. Oh my God, this is so cute. So this is the inside of like the actual book. And then on the inside of the jacket, it's got this beautiful illustration. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And from what I know, this like involves, um, I think a witch or like a girl who can control like sort of plant magic from what I know, but it seems very cool and I'm very excited by this. I also love the purple of this cover. It's super, super pretty. But yes, This Poison Heart is the book of the month for um, Owl Crate for July. Definitely let me know if any of you have read this because I have heard like so many mixed things about Cinderella's Dead, but I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this one. Alrighty, and now we are on to the fairy loot box for I believe July, I want to say, but we're gonna find out. I'm really excited for this one to find out what it is. Let's open her up. Uh, ooh, it looks like there's multiple books in here, which I'm excited for. Okay, so the first thing in here is this Caraval stamp pin, which seems very interesting. And let's pull out and see what's inside. Oh my God, this is super, super cute. What the hell? I love this. And like the little circus tent, super cute. I've never actually read Caraval, but I really want to. Let me know what you guys thought of it and like the whole series, because I, I believe it's a series. Okay, so the first thing in here is an extra book, I believe, and that is After Love by Tanya Bryan, and it says, not even death will tear them apart. And it seems like a Savic romance, as you can see. And oh my God, it looks super, super cute, and it's got pink sprayed edges. And on the back, it says, car headlights. The last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass as the windscreen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she made it, she's still here. Or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. That sounds so cool, what the hell? But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy, and she will do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. That seems super cool and like such an interesting concept and like girl reapers, I love this. So very excited to see what this is all about. Oh my God, okay, the next thing in here is a pennant flag, which I was just thinking the other day, my pennant flag is like getting totally overrun with my pins, so I need another one. And this one is gorgeous, look at that, oh my God. Super, super pretty. And I actually don't know what it's inspired by because I can't find my like spoiler card, but here we go. Okay, next it looks like we have a little like pouch thing. I think it's like a pencil case. And it says the world is wild with untamed things, Amanda Joy. So this is it. I love, love, love these colors. It's super, super cute. And actually I was just thinking I could use another pouch to put my makeup stuff in. So this would be great. Oh, and I found my spoiler card. It was at the bottom. So this month's theme is Love Struck and it's actually the August box. And this is actually such a cute like illustration. Oh, and it actually looks like the pin banner was inspired by these violent delights. And the pencil case was inspired by A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Oh, and it also turns out that After Love, the other book in the box, is actually an exclusive cover. Okay, and now we have the two tarot cards that come in every fairy loot box. So this is the first one, and then this is the second one. Okay, so let's find out what the book of the month is. Oh my God, I already see orange stained edges, which I'm very excited for. Oh my God, let's find out what this is. <gasps> okay, 
So we've got the bookmark, which is inspired by like the monthly art. Ooh, and then we've got the letter from the author and it's got also some art of a character from the book. And then the August book for Fairy Loot is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. I know nothing about this book, but it seems very interesting. And this is a very cool cover as well. It seems like it's gonna be a fantasy, which is not surprising because this is Fairy Loot. But on the back, it says, the king was right about one thing. I am a great thief. I could steal just about anything but a fairy prince's heart, I wouldn't know where to start. Ooh, okay, so this looks like it is a fairy romance situation going on. And I just realized that this is like stained orange on one side and like on the bottom, but over here, it's got like these suns, which is super cool. Let's open her up. And oh, it's got like a map inside as well. And it is signed by the author and oh, oh my God, okay. This is the inside of like the hardback and it's got like an illustration of I guess two like fairy princes I guess and then on the inside of the dust jacket We've got this beautiful beautiful art of I guess the characters in the book, which is super super gorgeous Very interested by this and I just love like the colors of this cover as well All right, but those are the three boxes that I wanted to unbox today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video Definitely let me know what your favorite object was from each of these boxes and which, you know, special edition was your favorite. I definitely think I loved the Dark Academia box from I'll Create the Best and like the exclusive cover and like the inside of the dust jacket for A Lesson in Vengeance, but overall they were all great and I'm just super excited to dive into each of these books. As always, you guys can check out the uh, codes in my description. I think there's one for Owl Crate. There isn't one for Fairy Loot, but you can definitely go check those out and grab a box for yourself. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And please remember that this story ain't over. Bye.